。それであの洞爺湖の芸術館で非常にこうユニークな展覧会があの開催されています。洞爺湖芸術館では春特別展、吉田拓也展、生き物たちが宿るカンバスを開催しています。えー、と吉田さんの作品であったのはどうでしょうねもう3年ぐらいなるでしょうかね吉田拓也は1986年に東京都に生まれた現在は蘭湖市長在住の画家です17歳で渡米ニューハンプシャー州の大学とニューヨークの大学院で絵画を中心にアートを学びますくっちゃんと札幌行ったり来たりしてるんですけれど最初は札幌で拝見しましたか帰国後に東京での制作を開始しますがより豊かな制作環境と没頭できる時間描きたい風景を求めてパートナーである彫刻家吉田みなみと2016年に北海道へ拠点を移しその後蘭湖市長にアトリエを構えます。You go up the stairs and looking down the painting, and you are getting a whole different kind of experience. This is my pink wall paintings. <laughs> 全く一つの別な世界が登場しているそれはある意味で吉田さんが思っているような一つの世界をあのあの限られたスペースの中でね、えー、いろんな要素を持ち込むことによってあの壁とか建物とかね The title of the show called Creatures Dwell on Canvas. The creatures are, for me, it's like animals and people. Those creatures are in the landscapes. The landscapes come from、uh, around here, the nature of Hokkaido. I go outside and drive around, sometimes climb up the mountain or ski and Do the sketching and sometimes even do like plain air paintings. This is another part of my big installation, collaboration with my carpenter. This is a, a painting, Swan and the Lady. I was inspired by a Greek mythology, Leather and Swan, but I was wondering, like, why I paint that? Like, because I'm Japanese, like, nothing to do with Greek mythology、uh, culturally. 
So from those paintings, like Leonardo to like Cezanne, like a lot of people painted this. And I always curious about swan and woman and because they kind of look like an angel. First I had an idea about like the person who wants to fly, like fly into the world, but uh, we are not angels, so we cannot fly. So it's like kind of like a hopeful thing. This flower of daisy is flower for the peace. I wanted my painting to be like peaceful and I wanted to show that to the world. This painting called Song of Peace and um, I, uh, I went to listen to the piano player's concert and I sketched it and I did drawing of this and I thought it can be a big painting and so I started painting and there's an interesting part of this painting is there's a piano player behind piano players as a painting and um, I didn't have that like this it was like a wall but I put the painting behind it and it kind of gave me like a magical space um, like the bird is like you don't know it's inside of the painting of painting or it's coming out like a magically so it I thought it was really interesting. It's the sort of like a magic of the space in the painting. And it's only painting can do that kind of things. The installation of carton is it gives like the depth, like the curtain in the painting and curtain in the real life. It's um it's like this curtain is like introduction get into the painting. I wanted to create a whole uh, experience of the setting, uh, listening to the music, listening to the painting. Composition moves all the time in my paintings uh, when I paint. It, it takes a long time actually, like even looks simple. So. I just wanted to be to see the viewer. It's not like just sweet my painting. It's just sweet. I concern about a lot of um, color, light, and shapes, and composition, and texture, and everything. Yoshida-san's世界を感じたんです。で、あろうことかその後こう先を見てみましたらね。I think painting is so free. Like you can really paint whatever you like to do. You can be a pop art, like minimalist, or you can be doing realism or photorealism, whatever you want to do. But I wanted like my painting to be better world I wanted to be in. So I paint paradise. This painting is huge painting titles called Searching for the Paradise. You can see it's like bright color, like nice world, and people are dancing and playing music. I think the tulip for me, it's like um, when you're kids, like first flower you draw is kind of like a tulip. I just wanted to come that kind of memory coming back. And recorders, like everybody in Japan plays recorders when 
you go to elementary school. So even you're not musicians, people feel uh, comfortable. 私はあのマチスという作家が大好きでしてねこれは昔からそうなんですマチスそのものの作品まあいろんなものを書いてますんでいろんな作種類の作品がありますんで全てが全てというわけではないんですが、えー、と彼の作品のそこに横たわってるような非常にこうおおらかなあの彼の描く一つの理想の世界っていうものをねこれ描き出してる作品っていうのはたくさんありましてまああのそうですね、えー、単純化した作品にそういったものが多いんですが例えば音楽とかねダンスとかね、えー、本当限られたあ色数、えー、だけどまあとても鮮やかな色なんですけどねあと限ら,限られた人たちが一つの世界をこう形作ってるんですけれどそれが何でしょう普遍的な一つの人間のあり方っていいましょうか。理想とする、えー、何かみんながどっかで求めてるような一つの世界をね表してるような雰囲気がありましたね次なる展開をね楽しみにしていますけれどあの空間を構成するのは作品ですからまずは作品を大事にして、えー、あまりその空間ということにこだわるとねあの作品がおろそかになってしまうかもしれないのでまずは空間を作り上げてそこから大いなる世界をこう繰り広げられることを期待しています、えー、本当に今後は楽しみな、えー、人が現れたなという気がしています。<音楽>